Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is an extension to my previous video. Last week we looked into how to respawn an enemy, in our case a spider, after getting hit. Today we will look into how to create a little scoring system on each hit. The total score also is reflected in a world space canvas as a scoreboard. As, uh, as mentioned before, this project is an extension to my previous videos. I'll post the links in the description and also try to attach relevant scripts. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's ba get back to Unity. This is where we left off last week. Let's create a new scene out of this one. Now we add this plus 0.5 text on hit. So let's take the spider as a reference point and create a UI text mesh pro text in world space. I need to import TMP Essentials. That's done. Now I'll make the canvas as world space and the values which I've trusted that work in the real world are these in, term, in the transforms. So use this. I'll try to position it in a way that it appears to be coming from the spider. I'll resize the text component, call it plus 5 and adjust size and make it green. Let me save scene. The spider should show up. Now we need to animate it in a way that it appears that the score is coming out of the spider. So create an animation, uh, create an animation folder and save it as a score point. Add a simple animation of it emerging in the y direction and later add scale 0 when, it, the, uh, when the animation starts and grow it to scale 1. So this is how it should look when the score point comes after the spider is hit. Now save scene, remove the loop from this new animation we just created and create a prefab of this canvas so that we can use it on all spiders. You may call it score point canvas. Now delete both the spider and the canvas from the scene as we got these as prefabs pre already. Next we need a scoreboard. I'll open the spider parent which has like 7 spiders as you see. The user is ideally looking at the spiders from the same angle as we see in the scene view. So we need the scoreboard at the furthest in my opinion. You can place it wherever you want. To create, So create a panel first. Uh, use these transform to make it work in the world space. These are test values which position them at the front and a little higher than these spiders. Add a text inside the panel and adjust its transform and settings. We'll be displaying the total score here, so just put a placeholder as a score 0 and call it scoreboard text and call the canvas a scoreboard.
Now coming out of the prefab and dragging the spider parent in the scene, just to check everything looks alright. Delete it if you're satisfied. So the display parts are done. Now the scripting side has to be completed. Under the shoot script game object, we'll add a script to calculate score. So create a script and call it scoring. Open the script, clear everything for now. Now we need to deal with text mesh pro items. So add using TM Pro on the top and start assigning variables. We'll need a score text which displays the score on the scoreboard and a game object scoreboard UI which will have the canvas containing scoreboard. Then for score use static int so that we can use it anywhere in our project. In the start method, just ensure the shoot script is enabled and true. Also, we need to find the scoreboard as it's inside the prefab, so we need to find by tag. Let's create a new tag for this scoreboard UI. Let's call it score canvas. Assign it to the scoreboard. Go back to the script and, sco and the scoreboard tag in the brackets. Also find the score text which is inside the scoreboard by a tag. Let's create another one and call it score on banner. Return, this, return to the script and add the same inside the brackets. And as this is a text mesh pro component, we need to get that as well as store it in the score text. Now in the update method, we'll simply uh, assign the score in score text or text like this. This script is done. Save and go back to Unity. Now we need to calculate the score when the collision of the sphere or a bullet happens with the spider. For this, we need to edit the existing script on the sphere called explode. Open it up. As you see, the script is from last week. We'll modify it to register scores when a collision happen. First of all, we need to add the game object variable, which is the green plus five text we created in the beginning. Then I'll just add a boolean on that so, so that the sphere collides only once with the spider. Add the boolean in the if statement as well. Now add the score calculation here, which is adding five for every hit. Now change the boolean to true. And for the explosion, let's put it under destroy object so that after the explosion has happened, we can get rid of the game object after a certain time, which can be wait time. The same destroy can be applied to the spawn plus five green text as we don't need it after it's shown once. Here in the coroutine, mark bullet collision boolean as false and destroy the sphere. I think that's it. Save and go back to Unity. In the empty field, add the prefab we saved score point canvas. That's it. Go to the file settings and add your current open scene. And before building, few things. I missed out. Inside the spider parent, I forgot to tag scoreboard text as score on banner. That's it. You can build your scene now. This is how it looks like. It's not a very polished one, but functionally, it does the, the job. You see points coming out of the spiders and the board showing you the total score for every hit. That's it for today. If you like my work, give, give a thumbs up, subscribe as I'll be posting Unity related videos possibly every week and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you and peace.